because the corn leaves cut my gums. <laughs> Making our way Woo! deep into the cornfield today to get some samples of corn that were treated with pivot biome and some that were also not treated so that we can do some comparisons on where they're at mid-season in this very tall corn. Move over about 30 acres or 20 acres here into the same variety, same fertilizer, but to the bio added in. So last time there was a pretty good visual difference. So. Now we're walking out of the field to go to the spot where the treated corn is at. It's tricky. Uh, we're going to take the leaf that's below and opposite of the ear. Uh -huh. um, we're going to go ahead and take that off the plant, and that's where we'll be taking our chlorophyll meter readings from. Okay. 35.0, The results are in. Tammy's going to tell us what the verdict is. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Okay, let's hear it. So we saw some pretty big differences in heights of those plants, mm -hmm. you know, maybe just a little bit in stage. Uh -huh. So not surprised that there's a 15.6% difference in biomass awesome. between those two bundles of plants. Um, then you took the chlorophyll meter readings. Yes. So there was a 22.7% difference in chlorophyll okay. um, concentration between the two bundles. We know that um, chlorophyll is an indicator of nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And so when we put those two things together, we came up with a 24.2% difference in nitrogen between those two bundles of plants. Wow. So, so the treated plants have 24.2% more nitrogen yes. than the untreated. And since the fertility programs have been identical with the exception of applying Pivot Bio Proven 40 in furrow, that would say that it's working. Yes, the microbes are doing their job. Yes. And they put out that 40 pounds of nitrogen. It's very cool. And I've said it before, but I'll let Tammy reiterate how cool it is that since it is a naturally occurring microbe, it doesn't leach away. It stays where the plant needs it when the plant needs it. Exactly. So when you guys put it in for a planting, um, it colonizes right on those roots as the plant's growing and it doesn't go anywhere from right. there. So you can get a three inch rain, we can have a drought and those microbes are still going to keep going. So cool. So cool. Thanks, Tammy. Welcome. This is the untreated, this is the treated. Just by looking at it with the naked eye, you can tell that there's more mass in the treated for sure, which is what we like to see. So in theory, it's getting the nitrogen that it needs and it's getting more sunlight and that hopefully the crop has better yield potential. Show us the double-eared plant in the treated, Jenna. It's right here. Look at that. Look at that. You excited about that, Levi? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. So one more time, it's getting harvested finally. We've been out here, this is the fourth time this season, checking on, we did an on-farm check with Pivot Bio. So half of the field was treated with Pivot Bio, half of it was not. Very, those plants throughout the season. Now we can finally show you the harvest results. So these two ears were untreated and these two ears were treated with Pivot Bio. We can actually calculate the yields of the data from the combine, but I think it's very obvious with the visible eye, visible to the eye like it has been all season long that the Pivot Bio is those plants are healthier, they're producing better and they're yielding better. What'd you see in the field when you collected? The biggest thing that caught my eye in the field is just the green, greenness of the plant. Uh, that's what really gets me excited. If, you know, we can keep that plant green into late October, keep that factory rolling and packing, you know, pounds into this corn. That's when we're going to see some really nice things happen. And that's exactly what it's doing. Uh, not only are the ears bigger, the kernels are bigger. They're deeper. They're, I mean, just all the things. So um, it's going to be really interesting when we get, you know, all the data. As with everything on our farm, we start really small. We start small with the kind of